Welcome to Gone Outdoors. Kyle Agri and Scott Brewer of Brewer Agri Outdoors. Talking hunting, talking fishing, and talking anything you can do outdoors. For the next hour on Kello News Talk 1320, 107.9 FM and KWSN 1230, 98.1 FM, both out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and the mighty 790 KFGO Fargo 104.7 FM. Today's Gone Outdoors is brought to you by Ray Sport Marine, your local lawn boats and Bennington pontoon dealer in Moorhead. RaysMarineMoorhead.com. Adventure RV across from the fairgrounds in West Fargo, your number one RV dealer in the FM area. AdventureRVSales.com. Are you fishing for a snack or gas in Lakes Country? Lakeland General Store is your one-stop shop in the Lakes area at the junction of Highways 59 and 34 in Dunn Villa. Devil's Lake Tourism and Linex of Fargo. This is Linex Country, home of the adventurous. The city of Pelican Rapids and the Pelican Liquor Store. Pelican Rapids is open for business and adventure. And Glacial Lake Snow Bear. Fishing comfort this winter in a snow bear. And it is a pleasure to be back. It's always a pleasure to be back. And uh, I hope if you're listening to Gone Outdoors this morning, you are doing one of the above in that song, hunting, fishing, and loving every day, or, or, or doing multiples of them, because it is about the pinnacle of the hunting and fishing season right now, Scott. And we talk about this a lot. I know we do, but still, I just, this is absolutely my favorite time of the year end of October, those last couple of days in this first week of November. Oh my goodness. It just doesn't get any better. The ducks are flying. They're moving down. There's birds constantly coming through the area. The deer, the bucks are on their feet. It's the rut, the fish. Um, it's still fishing, but your potential for the biggest fish of your entire year could be right now. Yeah. Yeah. Mother nature is now finally catching up to what the calendar says. You know, it's, actually sweatshirt weather now um, or it has been for a little bit and it sounds like that's going to continue and continue to get cooler and cooler which is good good for all those things it's good to get keep those ducks ducks and geese moving that's good for the deer really good for the deer you know I don't know if a lot of people really realize it but right now uh, all the mammals they're ready for winter they've been growing their winter coats you know so when it's 70 degrees on November 1st and the deer are hot as heck, you know, because it's why they're not up running around in broad daylight. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're ready for winter. And, um, so that's just something to keep an eye on or something to keep, to think about during hunting season. If you get those really warm days, you might want to go find a swamp or something to go <laughs> trounce through because that's could be where all the big bucks are laying down. Yeah, you're right about that. That is definitely the case. And and hopefully with this more seasonable weather now things will be favorable as we really get into the into the meat of the rut, you know, into the point of time where these bucks are up running around and doing their thing and and uh it's just good. It's good. Hunting fishing, I don't care what you're doing, but but just get out there and do it because this is the time right now. Yeah. And and hey, another thing, Scott, a little uh, public service announcement. And I know that you and I, we uh, we very intentionally um, avoid talk of of politics and things like that. What's that? Um, I don't know what that is. And, and you know what? I think it's in our nature as outdoorsmen. We want to be like, well, just get me out to a tree stand. Just get me in my boat. Like, get me out to the duck blind and and get me away from all of that stuff. Yeah. And that's true. I'm right there with you. But what I would say is this week, get out and vote. I don't care what your beliefs are and your political stances, one side or the other. That's totally up to you. But take part in it. Get out there and be a part of the process. And a lot of these things have an impact on our natural resources and on our um, our wildlife, our hunting, our land ownership, land access, be educated when it comes to those things. So I just think that that's a really important thing. And to me, I take that to heart, try to be educated when I go to the ballot box and, and do the right thing. Yeah, exactly. You know, the a lot of people are kind of critical of the DNRs and uh, game and fish departments in their state. And a lot of people are huge supporters like we are. 
we're huge supporters of all those people because, you know, we know a lot of them and we know all the work that they go through um, day in and day out. But unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, a lot of what they do is a part of a big political process. And if you really follow things through the whole cycle, it matters. Your vote matters. And to Kyle's point, get out, vote, vote for whoever you feel is best. Nobody is right. Nobody is wrong. Your opinion is your opinion. And that's great. Everybody has one. Well, make it heard. And that's how you make it heard is by getting out and voting. And then once you go vote, then get the heck back out in the boat or the blind yeah. or the tree stand or wherever you're going. Yeah. You know, one thing I don't like about this time of year, as we get later and later in the year, um, this last week I've heard or seen posts of, I think it was four or five friends that said they did their last fishing outing of the year. They're hanging it up. A lot of people have already done so. But the, even the diehards now are getting close. Although... I also seen Randon Olson post that he's going to be out musky hunting until at least Thanksgiving. So if you wanted to go on a musky fishing trip, a guided musky trip, and you want to have a heck of an experience and learn more about muskies than you've ever learned before in your life, hire Randon for a day sometime here in November, and you will have the time of your life. Yeah, absolutely. And, and you know what? We have to quantify that. The last fishing of the year might mean the last open water fishing. Correct. You know, there there always is that point, whether you're there until the lakes ice up or you decide, hey, now the, the, the nights are getting, you know, down there into the low 20s on occasion, and and I just don't want a chance wrecking anything on my boat motor, so I'm going to go in to raise marine, get it winterized, and, and take care of it. Eventually, you have to get there. But we're probably... I mean, it's Probably a lot a of month. speculation. A month from, yeah. from ice fishing and early ice. We are going to be talking ice fishing a lot coming up here because we have Fargo Shields Ice Fest coming up November 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. It's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday in the Shields parking lot. And everything ice fishing is going to be going on there. You and I will be there uh, chatting with customers and getting people wound up and helping them pick out what they need. Um, it should be a really good time. Yeah, sneak peek. Um, there's going to be some great deals if you're looking yes. for some ice fishing gear. Uh, you you want to at least check it out. Yeah, and when Kyle says that, he's not kidding either. We've seen some of these deals before. We can't say what they are because they're not advertised yet, but it's a couple of days that you're going to want to put on your calendar. Let's say that. Yeah, and when you come out there, uh, the two of us are going to be emceeing the event, so stop by and say hi. Make sure you you find us. We'd love to talk. We love to talk ice fishing, anything outdoors. Um, so stop by and say hi for sure. And we love to talk radio. So if you have ideas for radio segments, let us know. Scott, uh, next segment, we're going to talk to Barb Keller, Minnesota DNR Big Game Program Leader. We'll talk CWD, chronic wasting disease, and all of the intricacies that go into that. We had some technical difficulties last week on the show and uh, we weren't able to get Josh Neck and Tanner Cherney on. We're going to do it this week. Josh is going to join us the second half of the program to kick that off, talking Canada geese, and Tanner is going to be talking Devil's Lake at the end of today's show. Lots of great, great stuff, folks. Don't go away. We'll be right back with more Gone Outdoors. <laughs> 